Now you might be wondering, what does the spring outlook hold for southern parts of West Virginia? So this is the March, April, May forecast. The main climate driver being El Nino. Now if you see some darker blue shades, El Nino is starting to fade. We reached a strong El Nino during the peak of the event, December and January, but now we're starting to see some cooler anomalies take over. So we were right there at that peak, two degrees Celsius above average. Now I highlighted March, April, and May, a week. We are transitioning to a weak El Nino. What does that mean when we look at past analog years? Warmer than average across the northern tier, that is upper Mississippi Valley to the northeast, cooler than average to the south, and we are right in that stripe of near average temperatures. When we look at precipitation, and again this is rain, snow, sleet, the whole nine yards, drier than average from the central plains into the northeast, we are right on the cusp of drier than average and then an active storm track here along the east coast, wetter than average once you get into California where the atmospheric rivers have been dumping a lot of rain. The North Atlantic Oscillation will likely trend below zero. When that happens, we usually see somewhat cooler than average temperatures. Positive NAO brings us warmer than average temperatures. This is the average line. So when it comes down to it, it's not going to be a spring where we have blockbuster snowstorms, but we're also not going to have anomalous heat. When we look at our analog years for April, and we look at the first and last spring freeze, which is usually in the spring, and that's when everyone starts to plant flowers and such, we see a pretty common denominator here. So the hard frost, April 12th, April 16th, April 28th, April 30th, and even two years where we had our frost in May. I am expecting at the end of April we will see that hard frost of the season. After that, you'll be able to plant the flowers. Now the general rule of thumb is wait till after Mother's Day to plant flowers because occasionally we get those um, you know, colder snaps. Now I want to let you know that right around 7.30 I'm going to have a Facebook Live where I talk more in detail about the spring outlook including the threat for severe weather. I break down each month and give you an overview of the allergy season forecast. There's a lot of information in the Facebook Live that will be on our Storm Watch page at about 7.30 this evening. All right, well, I'm gonna need that information because I'm allergic to a lot of things. Yes. And so it seems like, too, spring's looking nice. Average temperatures and drier than Aver normal. Yeah, average means we're gonna have still some fluctuations where it gets oh, cold yeah. and where it's warm again, but um, no anomalous heat mm -hmm. or no anomalous cold. So last year we had that big snowstorm in May mm -hmm. and snowshoe. I don't think that's gonna happen this year. That's <laughs> great news, Chad. Thank you. Now we have more news, weather, and sports coming your way after the break.